Welcome to the first century synagogue of Magdala. It is believed by archaeology that it was established during the late Hellenistic period. But the main structure, as we can see it nowadays, it was developed during the early Roman period, that means the first century. So as we heard before, the synagogue is just a communal place for gathering of the Jews. So it doesn't have any performance of religious activities unless it is the religious law by following the Shabbat or some other activities, like legal activities mainly. And it's a place to perform some of the Jewish identity activities. It's a communal place. So how do we know by archaeology that it is dated to the first century? Well. We have two of the main materials, that is the pottery and the coins that helps to date very accurately a place. And in the synagogue, inside the synagogue, it was found a coin of the year 42 and 43 that it, it was minted in Tiberias by Herod Antipas. So for sure this synagogue was in use during the early Roman period. This means the year 40 when someone dropped a coin and now it helped us to date that during the 40s, the 30s and the 40s, the synagogue was in use. Um, according to some of their archaeological records, probably it was abandoned uh, before the destruction of the area in the Galilee when the, the Jewish revolt happened here in the area in the 60s, before the destruction of the temple in the 70s. One of the questions that have arose about the synagogue is where was the entrance to the synagogue? Um, and here we can see some of the stones that were found inside the synagogue, but they weren't found as an entrance. The entrance is still unknown and is not been identified yet, but we will speak about it later because there are certain, several options that could be a good idea that it was uh, there where the entrance or the exit of the synagogue happened. But we can see this just the usual stones carved in the shape of a jamb of a door, but it is not sure that this is the entrance. Anyway, let's go inside to see what's inside the synagogue. Right now we are in the Bet Midrash. This means the house of study. As we have mentioned, synagogues have different activities and different rooms for several activities in the Jewish community. One of them, of course, is the study of the law, to writing the law, to the copy of the scrolls. So we have scribes, we have teachers, but someone needs to learn about the Midrash. That means um, the teaching of the law. And this will happen in this space. And how does archaeologists know about this? Mainly because of this stone. What we can see here is a stone that has carved two lines. These lines are created to uh, mainly are carved so when someone opens the scroll, the scroll won't roll. So you can control the movement of the scroll thanks to these carved lines in the stone. It helps to read the Torah, but it can also help to write it. We have another one inside the main hall of the synagogue, but in here, since it's a separated space from the main hall, it is believed to be the house of study, the Bet Midrash.